Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Reese number 966C. This is a piece of gasketing, a piece of specialty gasketing in the sense that you don't often see a piece of gasketing like this used or sold or employed, uh, but you will uh, see it in particular applications. So those particular applications, and this is obviously just a six inch sample piece is what we're dealing with here, uh, is used in applications where you need to have an angle sort of brush and uh, that application can be described most typically for an overhead door application. So this sort of brush, and again this is just a, a short little sample piece, this piece of brush, brush weather stripping would be very effectively employed um, in the jam, on the jam of an overhead door. Not only at the jam, it can be used at the header as well, um, and even at the at the leading end bar, the bottom of the door, the bar that makes contact with the floor. And if you study <coughs> residential um, overhead door applications, just the garage door to your home, let's say, uh, you will very commonly see the same principle, and I'm just sketching it out here. Here's an overhead door in, in cross section. And this weather stripping is very typically applied like this. Okay? Very typically applied like that. You'd obviously put it on both sides and is really effective in that sort of application. And what makes bristle very nice, and what you'll see in residential applications are generally just a fin of vinyl rather than bristle. What makes bristle really great is sometimes you'll have overhead doors that are corrugated. You'll see very commonly roll-up doors in commercial applications that are, that are just simply corrugated. And a piece of vinyl or fin style is not going to work because that bristle really serves to, if my fingers were to represent the irregular surface of the corrugated door, you, know, you can get the idea of how the bristles do a really great job at contouring themselves to that application. Um, you can certainly install this uh, up at the header as well. I have seen it installed. In fact, in all four uh, sides of the door, you know, you can ins install it up at the header. You know, it's going to fold back a little bit. It will retain back its normal position when the door comes down. Having it down at the bottom is nice uh, because when the door closes, it will not present a substantial obstacle to the uh, to the door itself that door when it closes needs to find a closed position so that the you know if it's not a manual door it might be if it's an automatic door that door has to close so that the operator knows the door is in the closed position this is nice because it really won't present too much of an obstacle and it seals very well now br uh, brush of this size is generally used on quite large doors where you'll have larger than average gaps. Uh, bristle like this, even uh, with uh, certainly with a straight holder rather than an angle, this is the holder piece here, the aluminum. Uh, with a straight holder is very commonly used in the bottom of sliding, uh, large sliding doors that you would see, believe it or not, not only in um, aircraft hangar doors, but large animal zoo enclosure doors as well. I've sold this to the elephant enclosure at a zoo on the west coast of, uh, of the United States. Um, you know, perfect, you know, with the straight holder, a little bit longer bristle, but a relatively common application. They do want to seal the bottom of that door off, and having brush is nice because it will, it will work very well. So brush is used because it's durable, and it contours itself uh, very well to uh, irregularities in the surface, whether it be um, a corrugated overhead coil up roll up door or it be a, a pitted floor uh, bristle is really great at contouring itself now there is a link below pardon me there's an image below this video that shows the important dimensional properties showing you the length of the bristle at three inch that is indeed the case it's going to have an overall dimension when they're showing it just overall at four inch You know, about three and a half, I would say, in this sort of dimension. 
we're going to gauge that maybe about two and three quarter this is available in uh, this is the three uh, pardon me the 966 C this can be done in different finishes the 966 is the holder I should say is available in C clear anodized aluminum they can do D as well which is a dark bronze finish on their aluminum and the dark bronze from Reese is uh, the most faithful dark bronze finish on aluminum to a true 613 or oil rubbed bronze finish that you'll find from any weather stripping manufacturer if you're matching 613 oil rubbed bronze 613 oil rubbed bronze uh, which means oil rubbed on bronze base material uh, Reese will match the best uh, compared to any other manufacturer it's also available in the 966 G the gold anodized finish on that holder well the bristles uh, held together with this steel uh, retainer be mindful when you're trimming your unit at the time of installation to cut that steel insert with end cutters or aviation snips don't just run a chop saw through this the aluminum is okay to cut with a miter box saw the steel wouldn't be um, now that there is a link below this video to the product catalog where you can see all the brush available from Reese straight holders four inch overall length is the longest uh, in their 966, you can see that that is the longest uh, that they do in a uh, angled style material, an angled holder, and that extrusion appears to be smaller than that 978, which is a 4-inch long brush. So I would say that the 3-inch is going to be the longest brush that you can get in an angled holder. You'll also see the 90-degree holders. Those are appropriate for use in the on the bottom of doors. Uh, people have installed those. Um, in the inverted bottom channel or any sort of application where you have a 90 degree uh, mounting position at which you want the bristle to uh, project from um, you know uh, applications where uh, people have installed them into a concealed wall application and they need the brush to make a relatively inconspicuous contact with a with a window or a door it's used in a variety of applications. Now that brush is actually really nice. On page two, that brush is nice. It shows the application of how an angled style works. And the lower right-hand corner of page two does show you the concept of what it looks like making contact with the face of the door. That's showing, it, it's meant to show a swinging door, which is really great uh, to use this material as well, whether it be vinyl or some other fin application, because when this is projecting off of the frame that door will just make contact with the face of the material now you wouldn't use something so large for that application but it's a lot of surface area you're going to get when the door just closes and a low uh, resistance to a door closer getting the door in the closed position this material is available in all of those different lengths that you can see very common high quality brush from Reese uh, lots of different length applications uh, straight 45 90 degree holder I don't know that that's 45 degree but let's just say for argument's sake that it is um, this is listed in the site in lots of different lengths you can order this in uh, two foot to eight foot lengths and by the time you're seeing this video it might be available in longer lengths anything longer than seven foot generally is uh, costly to ship so be mindful of that if this was the genuine article it would have a hole slot a slotted hole here for a uh, fastener and fasteners would be included be typically a six by five eighths uh, pan head fastener uh, in a complementary finish if you were to have need for a custom length by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field the net length that you'd like for us to cut the material back to and that will save you the trouble of not only cutting the aluminum holder but trimming the insert and then you're probably about four or five inches from the end of the piece to that first hole for where a screw would be so it would save you the trouble of potentially having to redrill a fastener hole as well when it comes to weather stripping you want those holes slotted uh, because it allows you to tailor the installation the positioning of the unit exactly on the door so as to affect the greatest um, most ideal amount of contact with the door as you're installing the material too little contact you don't have a seal too much now your door may not operate correctly uh, so be mindful of that bristles really great for that application okay 
Uh, finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Reese products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Uh, the name Reese is quite synonymous with very high quality uh, weather stripping products. They are my go-to uh, in applications where lead time is crucial. Uh, they're also my go-to, as I had said earlier, when it comes to matching oil rub bronze. I will use their material exclusively uh, when at all possible uh, for that sort of application because of how handsome it matches 613. Any questions on the Reese 966 overhead door, well, generally overhead door weather stripping, but bristle weather stripping with a angled holder or any other Reese product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.